E aí galera, beleza? Eu sou o Nix e se você chegou até aqui é porque você curte games ou o conteúdo te agradou. Então não esqueça de deixar o seu like para ajudar na divulgação, se inscreva no canal e se você já for inscrito, ative o sino para a notificação e fique por dentro de todas as atualizações aqui no canal. Não esqueça também que na descrição do vídeo você encontra nossas páginas de divulgação e muita informação extra. Eu me despeço por aqui. E a gente se vê. I made a promise that I was done with this life. It's not what it looks like. E aí, galera, beleza? Seja bem-vindo ao canal Next Games. Eu sou o Nix e no vídeo de hoje a gente vai seguir a sequência aí de Mass Effect 3. Nessa, nesse vídeo aí a gente vai seguir agora para a Citadel. Eu acabei recebendo uma missão codificada aí da Miranda. Então eu vou voltar aí para o portal de massa e a gente segue direto para a Citadel. Depois a gente vai aqui na reunião dos diplomatas, tá? Aqui basicamente a gente tem duas missões uh, e eu vou fazer isso aqui agora, tá? Então bora seguir aí para a Citadel. Essa aí é uma área nova aqui da Citadel. E a gente já vai aí começar a nossa exploração. Opa, oficial aí da Aliança. Eu quero que você matche isso contra todas as known locações e update o mapa. Que contacte os field teams para um progresso de progresso. Sim, senhor. Eu sou o Commander Shepard. Nós estamos esperando você. Apenas um momento. E Hadley, você trouxe os dados de Leviathan para nós? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we could just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! <laughs> Commander Shepard, I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. Like... I was someplace else. And then? I don't know! A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was... A loud noise. That was you shooting him. I didn't do it, it wasn't me! You have to believe that. 
So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator. And it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garneau appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan. But he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Does this tell us where Garnome went? No. But we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. Is this broken? Yes. I believe Dr. Bryson and the Arbiters have much to discuss. Can you have These are all murder cases known to have broken into our lives. And claimed memory loss. Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you build for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? And the search builder. You may examine the result in the galaxy map program. No <laughs> result. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. E, can you add a search filter for assistance along that projected path? Adding a search filter to the galaxy map. Meteorite fragment dated? He was studying it in the conference. Meteorite set. With traces of element zero. We divide the needy zone. While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding a search filter now. I'm looking at the Rackdai. Their movements during the Rackdai wars are just alien influence. But the timing's wrong, and Rackdai wouldn't plan it with Reaper Tech. What if Leviathan...
Supplies and was preparing the Rackbrite to fight the Reapers. What are you thinking? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Ragnite fleet activity to find Leviathan. If we can find data on the movement of ancient Ragnite ships, it may help us narrow our search. Those appear to be sightings of ships that match Ragnite signatures. Can you add a cross-reference for locations of sites? Adding it now. By Bryson. H9. This does not seem relevant at the moment. By Anne Bryson. H9. This does not seem relevant at the moment. Vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? By Anne Bryson. H9. This does not seem relevant at the moment. Sir, this is Bryson. We have this classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands, it won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart. What the hell does that mean? The Reaper Fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. The Reaper Fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. <laughs> Alien sightings. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Based on the search results, Garnell is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with multiple locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Alien sightings. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Ragnite activity. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Peruvian artifacts. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Element zero deposits. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Alien sightings. No results. <risos> o que a gente está fazendo aqui, galera, é atualizando o mapa da galáxia, ou melhor, o mapa da Normandy, com os dados do médico que acabou sendo aí morto, tá? Então eu vou continuar procurando aqui alguns dados para a gente poder usar. É... No mapa da Normand. By Anne Bryson, page 9. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer to the family? An interesting hypothesis, but I detect no trace of the decryption key in this part. The frequency activity is encrypted. Progress and statement in the law. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. We'll take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right, let's get back to the data that we found earlier. Please analyze the data. These systems do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. Yeah, I'll make Gardell use this intel. You make a search for it. Do it so now. We direct to me. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Beleza, por enquanto a gente encontrou aí seis unidades de dados, a gente já atualizou bastante aí o nosso mapa. Uh, e eu vou dar mais uma olhada aqui para ver se eu não deixei nada passar. Depois a gente segue aí para a nossa nave que está ali fora. Good. Let's go find Garneau. Beleza, então a gente encontrou aqui o que tinha que encontrar, tá? Uma teoria de conspiração. E agora a gente tem uma localização exata. Vamos dar o fora daqui então.
did that. They were refugees. Damn it, it's hey, not like they had much left to start. Yes, ok, parece que a gente chegou aí à zona do bar. Deixa eu ver se consigo falar com alguém aqui. A gente está liberando aos poucos alguns novos locais aqui na Citadel. Aí o bar purgatório da Citadel. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk. Get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. You will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Beleza, então a área foi deportada aqui para a Citadel e, e ela está dando uma ajuda indireta ao Shepard. Mas aí a gente vai ter que é, liderar os mercenários aqui da área de Mass Effect. É isso aí, ou a gente ajuda ela ou a gente fica sem a força mercenária da área. Já que agora ela perdeu ômega, o único jeito é a gente resgatar ômega novamente. Hey, Commander! 
Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, loco. Uh-huh. What do you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah. They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. Well, let's not overdo it. Well, you could at least buy me around. I had a feeling you were working up to that. Yeah, and I have a feeling you're not gonna buy me one. <risos> James querendo arrancar um dinheiro aí do Shepard. Beleza, galera, vamos sair daqui. Vamos continuar explorando essas novas áreas aqui da Citadel. Beleza, agora parece que liberou bastante coisa aqui na Citadel, inclusive em algumas lojas também. Nossa armadura sangue de dragão, velocidade de recarga, dano de poder e escudo. Ela é muito boa para adepto. Seria uma boa eu comprar, mas nosso dinheiro está curto por enquanto. Está aí a armadura da Cerberus. Munição, dano de arma, escudo e pontos de vida. Beleza, isso aqui ó, é para alimentar os peixes e a gente não precisar mais se preocupar. Beleza, por enquanto a gente tem aí duas lojas. You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, and it's good advice. Let's sign up as meds. Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. Hum, beleza. Conseguimos mais alguns ap algum apoio aí na guerra contra o Reaper. Só em conversar ali com eles. Deixa eu ver se tem mais alguma coisa aqui. Área de compra aqui da Citadel. I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares of Watson. Beleza. Conseguimos mais aliados. Ok, aqui tá fechado. Deixa eu dar uma olhada lá do outro lado. Start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and 
try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet! I am to look even more powerful than Crick thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Beleza, conseguimos aí mais um aliado para a Arya e assim mais um recurso aí para nossa batalha. Beleza. Look, he's not going to leave. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Yeah, you're right. Let's get this over with. Full refund. Really? Yes. Beleza, ajudamos ali na briga entre vendedor e comprador. E aqui a gente tem mais uma loja. Beleza, a gente vai ter bastante dinheiro para gastar aqui, hein? Show de bola, eu não vou gastar nada agora. A gente está com o dinheiro aí contado por enquanto. E a gente vai visitar aqui agora a última parte do salão aqui. Armadura de Collector, velocidade de regeneração, escudo e ponto de vida. O modelo da Citadel, isso aqui eu já vou comprar de uma vez. E por enquanto é só. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? They'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. 
Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Hum, parece que o Joker tá aí apaixonado pela Abe nesse corpo. Só o Joker mesmo. Aqui a gente tem a armadura inferno, que aumenta a velocidade de recarga dos poderes e o dano aí do poder, inclusive o resto das armas que a gente encontra na Normandy. Só que aqui a gente já ganha aí com um pouco mais de desconto. Hey Commander, check it out. Big news, the Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and oh yeah, a big ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep? It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Beleza, conversamos aí com a AD, também conversamos aí com o Joker, ganhamos mais pontos de reputação. Deixa eu ver aqui o que, que faltou para a gente interagir antes de sair daqui. Recurso de guerra atualizado, beleza. Do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. E aqui a gente encontra a Liara. One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Iso, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus, Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Beleza, ganhamos mais pontos de reputação e mais algumas informações aí da Liara. Muito bem, eu vou finalizando esse vídeo por aqui. No próximo vídeo, então, a gente acaba... Uh, de explorar as outras áreas da Citadel, a gente ainda tem que encontrar a Miranda que está por aí, tá? E a gente vai é, andando assim, coletando informação, recurso de guerra e se preparando aí para a batalha Reaper. Galera, eu vou finalizar o vídeo então por aqui, não esquece de avaliar o canal deixando o seu like e a sua inscrição. Na descrição do vídeo aí você vai encontrar as páginas de divulgação e o nosso site oficial. Vou finalizando aqui, a gente se vê então no próximo vídeo com mais Mass Effect 3. Um grande abraço e até a próxima.